I'm giving away all the secrets if I film this, right? We don't have to show anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Coming up next, we make jet boats. Yeah. All right, ladder. So this is what we call our levitating man gadget. It's kind of a fun thing. It's super uncomfortable because your whole weight is supported by these two straps and you don't want them to fall off like that. But your whole weight's supported by the strap, so it's really uncomfortable. It's cool though, it goes like this, goes like this. You can, you know, tilt back and forth. So anyway, today we're gonna be welding and grinding the jet boat. And that's about all we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna show you something on the water jet. And besides that, we're gonna be welding and grinding. So this is Roger, our fabricator. He does all the welding and figures out how to get stuff done. Compared to him, I got the easy job. So Roger's welding up the inside of the hull. It's a lot of welding. He has to alternate back and forth so that the aluminum doesn't overheat and warp. So now that he's got the inside of the hull welded up, we're gonna fork it onto the floor and flip it over so that Roger can weld the outside of the hall. There's two of us flipping it, but one person could do it. So Roger also has to alternate on the bottom of the boat just like he did on the inside to prevent warpage. And I like to do grinding outside so I'm pulling the boat out to do it outside. So the boat's welded up. Whenever you have welding, there's gonna be grinding. So we got the boat welded up. We got the welds here that we gotta grind down to see if there's any porosity or little bubbles in the weld. And we gotta bring the welds kind of flush with the edge of the boat. So this is what it looks like now after we MIG welded the whole thing. And I'm gonna show you an example of what it's gonna look like after we grind the welds down a little bit. So we started with a 40 grit. And went to a 80 grit after that. And we finished it off with a scotch bright type of pad. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking for, uh, just to grind off the weld. And uh, then the only, the only thing left to do is just to round, round the, the edge a little bit, but and I just look for any porosity or little holes, but it looks okay overall. And you can see how much dust we make. So this is the water intake for the motor. Uh, it's, it's also the stomp grate that keeps rocks and stuff from going in. 
and we made the outline for where we're gonna cut the hole in the bottom of the boat. We're gonna sandblast this thing and then paint it the same color as the outside. And so we pull that away and that's the line we're gonna be cutting on right there. And so here's Roger cutting out the hole for the stomp grate. So since filming welding and grinding is not that exciting, and that seems like all we've been doing in this video, I thought I'd give a demonstration about the water jet, and I'm gonna cut, cut out a little sign out of quarter inch aluminum for the shop. And the way a water jet works is you just put, a, you put your image into the computer, and then you put your material on the machine, and then it just cuts out the parts with high pressure water. So anyway, these are the letters. I scrambled them all up to fit on the material and I'll hit play and cut them out. So this is our 87,000 PSI water jet that we've had for a dozen years. It uses uh, high pressure water and fine pieces of garnet as an abrasive. out. Take this stuff, take it all over there. So that's a wrap on our third video. We had fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Our next one is all about putting the motor into the boat and aligning the drive shaft and all the problems that come up with that. So until later, 